So now we're taking it a step further. So now we're gonna work on a D-cell split stance pulse squat. So what I'm gonna do is again, same idea, you know, I want you to elevate that heel slightly because this is really gonna prime those muscles. You can use a 10 pound plate or a 25 pound plate. And then even, you don't even need to use a plate at this point because now we're really introducing what we're gonna do when we, when we get into that stop. So your first set can be with that heel elevated and I'm gonna be here, arms out, and I'm just gonna pulse in that position. Driving, feeling that heel, just pulsing still in that, that position, that, that uh, um, sprint stop position, or even if I'm going to explode off that block. So I'm just here pulsing, keeping that arm out. Right if I change up to a different angle, I'm trying to focus on having the heel and the knee, you know, call it four inches apart. So when I'm in that position, I need to sit back into that hip and the same thing, pulsing, just right into that position priming the tendons to handle that force. And then once, right, things feel good, right, I'm gonna lose that wedge and I'll be in this position, hit, sitting into that hip, heel floating, and now I'm just in that position, right? Reaching out will help target getting into that hip a little bit more, or you can start and just go into this position, pulsing. Right, and I'm staying within that quarter range. I'm not going to full split squat. I'm just staying in that pulse position, keeping the hamstring, glute, everything turned on. You know, try to have 80 to 90% of that weight in that front leg as I just pulse in that position, as I prime everything. So when I get into that stop, everything is comfortable, tendons and joints, the patterns are grooved. Same thing goes if I close out in basketball, right? So I can push off or even load and get into a crossover step. So same concept, which will apply um, across all ranges with sports. So that's going to be that movement um, to help you progress into some better deceleration progressions.